Hello, welcome. Welcome to Sober City Farm. We've got a lovely play area. We have a little shop. We have beautiful gardens where we grow and sell our own plants and produce. And then we also have obviously the animals. So the children can buy animal food and feed all the animals. We'll get some animal food, shall we? <laughs> Okay, Jamie, so should we go and have a look around the farm? Yeah. Go and see all the animals? Yeah. Let's go. First of all, we're going to go and see the ducks and the geese. Yeah. The chickens and the hens. These are our ducks and our geese, Jaden. Look at their funny hairstyles. We don't feed any animals unless they've got four legs, so we don't feed these. Okay. Can you see the big geese over there? Can you see the biggest one? That's George. Hello, Hello. Cute. Do you like their hair? I think we need a haircut. What do you think? It's fair. So, you know, four months ago, so you can see their house over there. So, four months ago was something called bird flu. So, we weren't allowed to let them out, so they were stuck in their house. But now they're out. And they've got their own swimming pool. If we go a bit further up, Yeah, so they're really happy now. They're very happy over there. Be really brave. Oh, try not to put it on the floor. Okay, put your hands flat like that and put it towards it. Oh, don't be stop scared, I'll do it with you. Okay. Oh, yeah, no, you're a hungry girl, aren't you? There you go, darling. Is that funny? Are you going to do it? Yes, so brave. Your hands flat. Oh, hold on then. Put it flat. That's it, hold it up. There you go, you did it, well done. So great. So they get fed in the morning by the staff and then we have visitors constantly feeding them. They're always hungry. Shoo! The sound that it makes is ba. Ba. Sheep are very clever and they are highly social animals. They can self-medicate and they can differentiate facial expressions and prefer a smile to a frown. She give us roar. Hello, let's sing hello to you. Hello, hello lambs. We love you. I'll tell you what you could do if you, if you feel better. Why don't you put some down the tube? Yeah, should we do that? Yeah. Yeah, so put your hand, you, can, you don't have to have it flat, just put it like that. So hold it tightly, and then just stick it down the tube and they can get some food. There you are. There, they know now. Is that better? Yeah, he likes it. Hi, hello. Okay, hello. Can we put some more down the chute over here so they can get them, they might follow us, you see. Oh, that's 
Can you spell sheep? S H E E P. Sheep. Right, shall we go and see our baby piglets? Okay, the pea and truffles. Shall we go and meet them? There they are. That one is Penelope and that one is Truffles. Oh, look. <laughs> Hiya. It is a pig. You... Pig. What sound does it make? It's oink. Amazing facts about pigs are they are one of the smartest animals on the planet. They can learn tricks faster than dogs. Pigs have long memories and can remember things even years later. The other one. You want to pass to the other one? Come on. There you go, darling. Good girl. Do you like them? Do you like them? Do you like them? Friends, can you spell pig? P I G pig. They're not babies. <laughs> babies that they're all. Yeah. Connie and Nora. And we also have our baby calves. Can you see our calves lying down? So the brown calf is called Sky and the white calf is called Moon. That's a boy. Whoa. So Moon's a boy, Sky's a girl. Hello, gorgeous. Hey. And this is Connie. So do you want to feed the goats? Don't forget to put your hand clutches on your little. Oh, hello, darling. Hello. 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 Are you happy? <laughs> she is happy. Goat. Goat's bleat. What sound does it make? It's ma. Ma. Goats are very good at climbing. They have been known to climb to the tops of trees. They have four stomachs and can frequently be heard burping. Funny, isn't it? <laughs> hey, she's just been fed. <laughs> Guys, let us spell go. G-O-A-T, goat. This one was named after my mum who passed away. Oh, this is Star. Do you want to feed Star? Now Star's got a very big top. Got any more? 
Shall we have a little jump up on our left? Hey guys. So we make our own honey. Do you like honey? Me too. I've just had some in my tea. It was really nice. Honey, we have our own beekeeper called Keith. We also have lots of people in our garden. This is our front pond. Do you like frog? Yeah. Well, I have a story about my frog pond. I was in the garden and I looked on the floor, Jade, and then I found a frog on the floor. So I picked him up and I put him in my hands and I called him Lucky because he was so lucky that I found him. And I plopped him back into the pond, so I always tell my school children to come out of the pond. See if you can see Lucky. Lucky! I don't know. Lucky! 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 Lucky. <laughs> he might come, he might not. And if you look really closely, you can see all the tadpoles. Might need to come here. You might be able to see some little tadpoles. I'm struggling to see them. Yeah, but. Yeah, look at Polly Tunnel. So okay, this is Carol and Summer. So that in this section we have gooseberries, you like gooseberries, raspberries. We have these are our vegetables. We have kale. And we have rainbow chard. So what I usually do, do you like? We're we'll, we'll, we'll going to rub a plant. Okay. So what I want you to do is get your hands. And I want you to rub this plant and then I want you to tell me what it smells like. Nice! Nice! <laughs> what do you think it might be? It's a, it's a herb. Yeah. So what we do is we put it on our potato, so it's yeah. called rosemary. So rub the plant. Use one of your senses. That's it, and you like it, right? Yes. Yeah. So when people get a bit stressed, what I say is you can come and sit on my bench next to Pat the <laughs> Sit next to Pat. Yeah. Hi, Eddie. Hello, Pat. Hello. Hello. Fantastic. You want to do that? Yeah. yeah. Beautiful, isn't it? What's that called? Do you know? Yeah. Um, so this is very soothing. We like to come in here when we're a little bit, feeling a little bit sad. Oh. On our trees. It begins with apple. 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 You know what this is? This big brown thing. What's that? Oh, our own pizzas. So we are having a big festival in August, a music festival, and we're going to be making our own pizzas. We're very excited. What <laughs> Sunflower? Yeah, I do. I do. That is so cool, right? So we're growing beetroot there. Can you see it? So that grows in the roots. Can you see the roots? It grows under the ground. We have some leeks over there, lots of lettuce. Our lovely shop. Go and have a look, see what you can see. We're going to take you to our cafe. So we've got our own chef called Howard, and he makes us lots of yummy things. Should we go and have a look? Hey, look at that. We've got lots of tables. Come and have a look at the cakes. Hi, Howard. This is Howard. Yeah. Look at these. Oh. Yummy.
Because it's me. It's me. Horses me. The amazing facts are horses can sleep standing up. And they have 10 different muscles in their ears. Horses' ears may be small, but they are mighty. Did you know friends? God cares for people and animals alike. We are all his creation. The Lord is good to all and his mercy is over all that he has made. Caring about animals is a part of what makes us better people. It is a compassionate thing to do and God tells us to be kind to them. We choose to support those farmers who keep animals in good conditions. And we encourage you to do so as well. If you see any animal being mistreated or suffering, you should intervene or report it. It has been a pleasure for us to visit Stonebridge Farm and we thank Barbara and the other staff for their kind cooperation. We hope you have enjoyed this video. Do not forget to subscribe to our channel so you won't miss our new videos. See you soon. Jesus loves you. God bless you. Bye-bye.